JavaScript Object Notations, or JSON for short, is a text format that is completely language independent. Imagine I have a front end that needs to communicate with a back end that also needs to communicate with a database that are all written in completely different languages. Well, one does not simply send a Java object to a JavaScript program. For the same reason, Americans and English don't understand each other. Balls a while. Oh, ah! Enter the solution, JSON. As you can see here, I have a JavaScript object with key value pairs, first name, last name, job title, and body count because this character killed some people in a show. And I'm gonna go ahead and convert it to JSON. Now, how you do that is you simply create a file with the extension .json. I'll go ahead and create one called database.json because this is my fake database. Now, JSON and JavaScript objects are pretty much the same except for a few things. The first thing is the keys in the key value pairs are actually strings, so they'd have to all be in double quotations. Single quotes are not allowed and the only time where you would not use double quotes is whenever you have a number boolean or null every property can have an object as its own property or an array and you can also have an array of json and that's pretty much it there's nothing else to it you officially know json now before i end this video i'm going to show you guys how to pass json data as a javascript object and how to stringify javascript objects into json and store them in json files so i'm going to go ahead and create an index.js file because in this example i'll be using node.js if you're not familiar with node.js you could go ahead and check out this video and now i'm going to go ahead and create a constant called data and i'll set that equal to fs read file sync and the first argument would be my database.json file and the second argument would be utf slash eight now underneath that i'm going to go ahead and log out to the console the data and as you can see what i get in return is not a javascript object but it's actually json if i try to grab the first name of this json file you would find that i'll get undefined and that's because this is json and not a javascript object so in order to convert it into a javascript object what i'll do is create another constant called parse data and I'll go ahead and set that equal to JSON all capital letters and then do dot parse dot parse will be a function and I'll pass into that function the data now what JSON dot parse does is convert the string of JSON into an actual JavaScript object so therefore when I go ahead and log out to the console parse data I'll get the JavaScript object itself and if I go ahead and try to grab the first name property you will find it will give me the value of Jax so I'm just going to go ahead and change the first name to Tara and the body count to null because I really don't know how many people she killed in the show. And I'm going to go ahead and stringify this data so I can put it back into the JSON file. So how I'll do that is I'll go ahead and create another constant called stringify data and I'll set that equal to json.stringify and inside of that I'll go ahead and pass in my new object. And in order to write to the file I'll go ahead and write fs.writefilesync and the first argument would be my database.json file and the second argument would be the stringify data constant. Now if I go ahead and run the program and open up my package.json file, you would find that the first name has changed from Jax to Tara and the body count has changed from 45 to null. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and on that bombshell, I'll see you in the next one.